Now, welcome back everybody to the future. In today's video, let's talk a little bit about the future of travel, mobility, and airspace, and planes crashing in midair, probably colliding into each other a lot. Yes, today let's talk a little bit about air taxis, finally. Yes, air taxis, just like this interesting air taxi concept, uh, were just made by the interesting company of Volocopter. Yeah, Volocopter is a German company. Hmm. Their headquarters are in Bruxelles. Great one. And this company has specialized in making electric, pretty much self-flying, so autonomous aircraft, or as Wikipedia calls it, personal air vehicles designed for air taxi use. Yes. You know, the idea of an air taxi in general is actually not bad at all, I think. You know, especially like think of cities like this one right here, New York, where there's just a ton of traffic. You know, there are cities that, that have it a lot worse, like, you know, Los Angeles, right? We're driving from one end to the city to the other. It takes like three or four hours, which is like a whole life journey of a fly. What am I saying? Anyway, that could be very much solved here by, you know, introducing this interesting volocopter. And well, doesn't it fly nicely? You know what? I quite like this. Yes, air taxis. You know, they're not that much of a new idea. I mean, we've had them in, in 1985. But there's one little problem with these little taxis. Of course, they have to be somewhat affordable. And in order to do that, they have to be able to fly autonomously without any pilot. And this is what exactly this Volocopter aircraft can actually do, yes. This interesting uh, Volocopter here is actually called the Volo City. Of course, again, an electric plane that can actually fly autonomously. Now, this one was introduced like a few years back and can transport around to passengers. And yet, this is the German Wikipedia page because it doesn't have an English one for some reason. I mean, it's a German company. Hmm, what an interesting idea. Now, actually, this right here, this plane in the flight simulator, if you guys have the flight simulator, it's automatically added in, right? Yet, this interesting plane here was very recently added into the flight simulator, so there is nothing to be paid for here. Maybe this was a bit of a marketing campaign, but here's the cockpit of this aeroplane, and well, it can... You know, it can almost not be called a cockpit right here. Of course, this is now, I guess, the non-autonomous version of it, where we can fly the aircraft ourselves. But you know, it still looks very much like a car. I mean, yeah, look at the car door. Look at the, look at the door handle, great. I mean, look at this interesting cockpit. Here we can see the RPM counter of every one of the engines that we have. Yes, as this is a motocopter, it is, you know, unlike any, you know, other helicopter we've seen before. This interesting thing has 18 engines. 18, which is interesting. So, you know, if you fly into a flock of birds and, you know, you lose one engine, that's no problem. Or even two, probably. Yes, 18 nice engines, which are, of course, as you can hear, maybe, electric. Yes, this plane is known to be a little bit quiet, and that's very important, of course. Again, as this is supposed to be used as like a city taxi. And there's a pool down here on top of a building. Let's maybe see. Can we land here? You know, maybe just imagining the future right now. You know, calling an Uber and then uh, this thing call shows up automatically without any driver in it, which is interesting. Come on. Uh, oh my God. No. No. Okay. Oh, uh, interesting concept. Jesus Christ. I'm not very good at flying helicopters, I must say, but this is interesting to fly. I mean, I've had worse Uber drivers before. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's land at the pool. There we go. Volocopter has landed and stuff on the pool, in the pool, basically. So yes, you might think now, well, this is an interesting concept, Swiss. Right, of course, a flying air taxi, that sounds kind of cool. But you know, it kind of does sound like, you know, music from the future that we'll never actually see, kind of like, you know, maybe like a science fiction movie. But apparently, that is not true. Because this aeroplane is supposed to be introduced uh, in three years. It said it here on Wikipedia. It's again in German, but it says drei Jahre, which is three years. And that actually will happen in Singapore. Hmm, interesting. I guess they decided to introduce this aeroplane in Singapore first because it's probably a lot less, you know, annoyingly regulated of a country. I mean, you know, comparing this probably to the US or especially Germany as well, where even autonomous driving is, you know, an impossible thought. Yeah, <clears throat> you know, I can imagine why they would start, you know, in Singapore. So maybe land on this tall building right there before we continue on. Because, I mean, three years, that is not a lot in a long time. Let's come on. Uh, no, come on. Uh, oh, God damn it. If I'm not even able to fly this thing, how is any AI going to? Come on. Yeah, no, yes. 
There we go. Oh, okay. There we go. Nice. All right. Your Uber driver has arrived. Oh. And he's died now. Oh, he's definitely dead. Great. Uh, actually, it says it here. You know, in the first phases of actually testing this, it will have a pilot on board. I hope anyone that is out of German land will somehow follow this through right now. So I guess that makes sense. But yeah, in three years, I guess 2023, I've heard, is already the date when we can actually see the Volocopter fly around. I still don't know about this name, honestly. Great. And the, another question, of course, as well, is when will it come to the US? When, you know, in LA, where it is very much needed for example, or when will it come to Europe or something like that? Well, I have no idea, of course. I mean, in January of this year, they said that we can expect to secure a certification within the next three years, which is also interesting. They like to talk about the next three years, don't they, Mr. Volocopter? Hmm, interesting. So yeah, it's now here in Singapore indeed, here with this interesting building that we all maybe have seen before. Now, a bit of a conclusion. How realistic is this concept to happen? I mean, over the years, again, we've had thousands of concepts. You know, also, you know, with a very recent uh, presentation of the Boom Over Shore, which I made a video about with United Airlines. Well, I don't really know. I mean, it's a German company. And the thing about Germany is that, well, <clears throat> as you might know, sometimes things just take a little bit longer longer than, you know, they're, they're initially announced to do, like, you know, Berlin Airport and um, stuff like that, and it happens quite a lot, which is why I have a bit of a healthy doubt that in actually three years, this plane's gonna fly around here and is gonna be booked with Uber. Even though, of course, as you can see, for example, they already have a testing aircraft and all of that ready, and it actually does fly itself as well. This seems like an inter- I mean, it does look interesting, and it's gonna probably something to get used to, but here we go. It flies nicely, and if I can tell that here especially, it flies extremely stably. I do would feel very, very safe on board, even though, huh, you know, the controlation is a little bit weird, or at least a human pilot, but you know, this is this is not all too bad. And the scenery is completely broken here in the Microsoft Flight Simulator. Jesus Christ. Yes, I mean, and, you know, I do have a lot of interesting questions about, you know, how this operation is exactly gonna work. Like, how is this plane gonna charge? Like, what? Yes. I really have no safety concerns about this. I only have concerns about it being a proper, legit release. So, yeah, guys. I just turned out all of these 18 engines. How do I do this? Ah, here we go. Oh, that's gone. Oh. Hmm. Robert Reiner landing. Here we go. Nice. In conclusion, we can say that this is interesting. And, uh, well, again, you can fly it if you want to. You know, maybe check it out in the simulation before it becomes reality. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Spice, Robbie, Middle Aged, Levi, Junk in the Trunk, Mubarak, Darren K, Oh Man, Moritz, John, Kelly Chaos, Death Rider, uh, Ragings, Noah, Yes Aviation, Producers are One, Saturn, Cat, Sunno, Shadow, New, New York, and Jackie Boy. Stop.